Hi, so my name is Omkar Govil Nair, and I'm the creator of the OWatch, which is a programmable smartwatch kit that I made to teach kids how to code. Um, so today I'll be sharing a few steps that I took to uh, create this. So the first step is to get inspired. So what this means is just get some inspiration from uh, a person, a thing, something like that. And um, it could be anything as long as you're passionate about it. So uh, for me, uh, I was inspired by Maker Faire. Um, so Maker Faire is a place where uh, makers come together and they show their projects. So uh, in 2011, when I was really young, I went to Maker Faire and I saw a lot of cool stuff and I was interested. So I got interested into circuit boards. So um, another inspiration of mine was um, uh, uh, the person on the left, his name's Quinn Etnire. He was also a young kid who was making electronics and stuff like that. So that was one inspiration. And um, he made this robot over here. And um, that's using something called an Arduino. So an Arduino is a programmable um, a chip that you can use to program stuff. But uh, it's open source. So that means that it's anybody can use it. And there are lots of resources that anybody can use. So the next step is to brainstorm some problem-solving ideas. So you use your inspiration and come up with ideas to solve a problem based on the inspiration. So, Hi, my name is Omkar Gogol Nair, and this is my very first Arduino project. So uh, when I started, I was interested in Arduino. So I started by making a few projects. Right? And uh, then I found some problems, and I decided to try and fix them with my brainstorm. So uh, one problem I found was that there weren't enough kits to teach kids how to code with it. So uh, I came up with a smartwatch to do that. So this is my first brainstorm. And uh, when doing this, it's important to write down your ideas. So that way, you have a copy like this. So the next step is to make a prototype. So um, the key thing in this is that it's uh, using stuff that you have or is more readily available. So uh, this was uh, my first prototype of my watch. And it does not look anything like you saw in the first picture. But that's OK, because it works. Now, uh, cutting to a different point, uh, if you don't have something, there are devices called 3D printers and laser cutters that can help you. So a 3D printer melts plastic and puts it layer by layer to make a 3D object. And a laser cutter, it uses a laser to cut through uh, wood and other materials. So these are really useful for prototyping, because you can make prototypes of different things. And uh, even if you don't have them, there are a lot of libraries and places are starting to have them. And uh, there are maker spaces which have these tools that you can use. So the next step is to get feedback. So this is really important. You take your prototype and go to places like Maker Faire and show your project and see what people think about it. So um, I went to Maker Faire and displayed my watch, uh, one of the first prototypes of it. And I got great feedback. So after getting great feedback, uh, I also did workshops and uh, other such uh, things to teach other kids how to program in Arduino. So the next step is to reiterate. So this is where you take your feedback and your prototype, and you uh, repeat uh, and make it better. So you can do this as many times as needed. So I went from the felt watch to a watch with a 3D printed case, and then from that to a sleeker design for the case and thinner uh, boards. So this next step is optional, but I decided to do it. So it's called bringing to market. So this is where you take your new prototype and see if people are interested in it. So um, this is a video from our very first campaign. Hi, my name is Omkar, and I am eight years old. I started Arduino when I was six. Since then, I did many Arduino 
projects. But I could never find a kit that would allow me to share my projects with my friends as well as customize the project. Introducing the OWatch, a kid's programmable smartwatch. With the OWatch, you will be able to program games like rock, paper, scissors, and program, make programs that will calculate values, such as the value of pi. The OWatch is made using an Arduino compatible board made by our part Tiny Circuits. Arduino is an awesome platform for kids like me to get started with programming. Here are some programs I made using the OWatch. The OWatch sensor kit board will contain various sensors, including a compass, temperature, pressure, and humidity sensors, using which you can make cool programs, and you could also use them for measurements in your science projects. Since it is a fully Arduino-compatible product in a tiny package, you can do a lot more. Pretty much anything that is possible using a regular Arduino board and a color screen. You will also learn how to do 3D design. I need your support to back my project to bring this, the O-Watch, So that was a video from our crowdfunding campaign. Now crowdfunding is where uh, you show your project to others and see if they're willing to back it. So when they're backing it, they're saying that uh, I'm willing to put forth money to get this. Now you put a goal, which is uh, how much you'll need to get this started. So if, you, if enough people back your project and you reach your goal, then you have to ship out your uh, project and uh, you get the money to do that and s hopefully start your uh, business. So uh, that was a video from uh, when we were doing a Kickstarter. And so it's still, uh, so we got successfully funded on Kickstarter. And after that, there's the work of going through making and uh, shipping out all of the products. So here's in our factory uh, where the uh, boards are getting made. And um, here you have to pack and test every board. So here are the different um, uh, reiterations of our case. Now the case was one of the hardest parts to make at, because the buttons were hard because uh, they would easily break on our first design. So we had to remake them. So. Um, in the top, you can see some of our older designs and um, some newer ones, too. So uh, one of the greatest experiences of this journey has been meeting people, uh, especially at Maker Faire. So here are a bunch of people that I met. Um, so uh, I met the founder of Arduino in the um, middle right over there. And I met a lot of other people, such as uh, young makers like me, and um, it was a really amazing journey. So this was our booth at uh, the 2018 Maker Faire. So um, we're going to end off with this short video and then go to Q&A. Basic idea is that you can get the kit and you can learn how to program using the watch. And then you can wear it and show everybody. Hey Omkar, it's been about three years since I've met you and you're still making a ton of progress. You want to talk to me a bit about the O-Watch? Yeah, sure. So it's a programmable smartwatch kit to teach kids how to code. You can have games or whatnot in it. Basic idea is that you can get the kit and you can learn how to program using the watch and then you can wear it and show everybody. And so again, this has been a couple of years. What initially made you decide, hey, I want to make a watch? Um, well, one, I really wanted to teach others how to program their own stuff. Um, but I think it was easy to make a wearable because you can like take it around and show everybody and it's not too big. Like Arduino boards are pretty big, but 
right? Like a wearable watch like this is not that big, so it's more accessible. Awesome. So when did you actually start programming and playing with Arduinos? Uh, when I was six, I started playing with Arduinos after seeing them in Maker Faire. So OWatch, it funded a couple years ago in Kickstarter. What have you done recently with it? Um, so I've been looking into like uh, new possibilities. Like right here, this is a this has all the sensors in this thick one right here. Just it's thinner. So we're looking to make it more thin, more um, cheap. You know, make it uh, easier. And uh, we've just also been working on making new programs and getting more people into the community and yeah, stuff like that. Have you seen a lot of good response from other? kids your age and their experimentation with the watch? Um, I uh, host workshops where we teach these. So um, yeah, at the workshops, I've seen some pretty good response. Awesome. Are you printing another case right over there? So those are actually keychains that we're giving away. But the cases are still made by the printer. So. Do you have any other future projects that you're thinking about? Or are you going to keep on working on the O-Watch? I think I'll stick with this for a few more years and still thinking about what I want to do in the future. And just to verify, what does the O-Watch stand for? Uh, it stands for like the first initial of my name and watch. Awesome. I like that naming convention. Uh, now I'll take some questions if you have any. All right, so we have time for a couple questions. And he is going to be hanging out with us through this morning and through lunch. So even if you don't get a chance to ask a question now, you will have a chance during lunch. Uh, yeah, so it's a, a lithium-ion battery, and it lasts around eight hours if you're not overusing it. Yeah, you can recharge it. Yeah. How, ex how exactly can you charge it? Uh, there's a USB port in it. Uh, I can see maybe a little bit. Uh, uh, you can see there's a tiny hole in there. So yeah. All right, we've got another question over here at an orange table. Which language does it support? Um, so Arduino is C, C++. All right, and one last question before we move on. What kind of advice do you want to give to all of your peers that may be interested in starting something like this? What would be you know, your words of advice for them moving forward? Um, so my advice is that just Follow what you're passionate about and don't give up. All right, let's give a big round of applause for Omkar. <laughs> <laughs>